dirty old great. blues. Dirty old blues. There's nothing wrong with these, is so there? So we're going to get out of a couple of dirty old men. <laughs> so, greetings, my friends. Chappers, I'm the captain, and, and greetings. To the... You know what you're watching, don't you? Yeah, it's Welcome. Us. Welcome. Welcome. Um, so, I see a little burp there. I'm sorry about that. It was my uh, fish finger bun that I had for lunch repeating on me. <clears throat> 2017, uh, another uh, year of, of uh, wonderfulness from Gibson. Uh, I don't think they did this last year. In fact, they may not have done this for the last two or three years, but they certainly have some history in doing these kind of premium limited edition versions of their Les Paul standard. And every God year. bless them for doing that. Yeah, so this isn't custom shop. This is, this is creme de la creme, top of the range. Doesn't get any better than this from the USA standard range. So, limited edition. If you look on the little cavity protector for your toggle switch, it will tell you uh, they've made 150 of each of these. What number is yours? Mine is 119. Nice. Uh, and mine is 107 of 150. But so they're nice missing little the little, uh, there's a little bit of plastic that's supposed to go around here. They're missing that's that not one. on any of the 2017 yeah. models, is it? Um, it's a little bit like a hybrid cross between a Les Paul Custom and a Les Paul Standard. You're, you're, you're kind of, uh, you may have noticed, it's a double bound guitar, so bound front and back. It has now a triple A flame back, cool, with a quadruple flame in my instance and a uh, quadruple A flame and in Rob's instance quadruple A quilt. Ripply quilty. Uh, so yeah, the, the only real difference between the two other than the obvious colour is that Rob's is quilted maple, mine is flame. thing I said to Lee yeah. when when he came upstairs and I was already having, <laughs> having a little <laughs> having a little said, noodle oh, well, Welcome to my boudoir, you can have a good time. <laughs> so I, I, I'm always French when I talk about my bedroom as well, um, which is for some reason wonderfully good. Uh, <laughs> did I start calling Fender Fondé? Fondé. Fondé. Um, Gibson. Gibson Fondé. Um, je suis désolé. The, the first thing I said to Lee was, you know what, it plays like a PRS. And then I said, should I say that? Is that a bad thing? And he went, no, no, say it. It's a good thing. I mean, it, it, it looks like a Gibson. Yeah. It sounds like a Gibson. But it has yeah. a kind of modern prs -y feel. I think those two companies are slightly obsessed with each other, and they shouldn't be. I think PRS should just do what PRS want to do, and Gibson should do what Gibson want to do. And as the proud owner now of both, as are you, I love them both. They both have a... They have a place in my heart for each one, for each of them being different. So look, it's completely fine to say that this reminds you of a, of a PRS in the same way as some PRSs will remind you of a Gibson. Yeah, I um, think that might just be more to do with how much flame it's a bit there bling, is evident on that. It's a bit bling-tastic, And mixing it? it with the gold hardware and can I Can I just say something? Mm. It's the first time on a Gibson Les Paul standard that I've really thought that the um, metallic pickup covers actually works because you know on, on in the standard range the all the high performance range have got the um chrome pickup covers yeah and the standard ones have just got the regular cream pickup yeah, covers. yeah yeah and i've always thought that it makes the hp ones look a little bit ostentatious so well i'm going to say that i think that looks a bit ostentatious do you? I, i'm not See, I think it i'm works. not at all a fan of the gold hardware on okay. that guitar and i think if that had regular pickup rings it would look so much nicer in my opinion but i love the look of it on this finish this, for some reason, yeah. works for me. What's your opinion, YouTube? Yeah, t tell us, because it's all um, entirely subjective, isn't it? And if you really don't like the pickup rings, I guess they're probably not more than about £10 a set from all parts, and you could just put regular ones back on. But look, let's, let's um, flip them bad boys over. Whoop. So on my guitar, uh, we've both got locking machine heads, but mine has the gold kind of tulip, sort of almost like trying to um, recreate the clues on kind of... Uh, yeah, shape. Peg. And yours has got the Grover. Yeah. Interesting. I, I just I think it's all about what genre are these aiming at. 
because of course in all marketing that's what you're probably doing with this kind of thing. And you look at this and you think it's almost like it's kind of your yeah, Tremonti-ish kind of metally, rocky kind of stuff. And you look at that and what do you think? You see bluesy. Yeah. Oh, no, do you know what? I don't. I don't necessarily see that they're going after a musical genre with these. They're going after the guy that wants the blinged out. The guy that goes to his Jaguar garage, and the guy, and you know, and when the salesman gets the brochure out and goes, "Can I interest you in, in any of the sort of the you know the extras at the end?" and he just goes, "Yes, all of them," you know, <laughs> and it's and that's it. So you walk out and with he drives the Burger King. Yeah, and you, you just have everything. <laughs> This guitar is very conventional. You know, it's 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 a Les Paul scale length. It's a uh, it's got the traditional Les Paul neck uh, width. It's got the traditional heel joint. It's not it's not in any way kind of trying to be that sort of more modern high performance thing. It's got um, ultra modern weight relief. Do they call it ultra modern? They call it some sort of. Well, I mean, it is. Yes, it is not modern. as heavy as Les Pauls. I felt, but it is sort of weight. Yeah, I mean, there I, is. I was surprised I when I read it. Was yeah, I wouldn't have gone. Oh, it's really weight relieved. You know, it's, um, it is weight relieved, but it isn't like wow, it's going to fly uh, away in your hand. There's a really cool feature on the Anderson's website if you've if you've not used it before, where we've got three or four of each of these in stock, and if you go to the website and you and you find these pages, each one is individually photographed and weighed. So that you can sort of say, oh, that, I quite fancy that one because it's a little bit lighter than that one. Or I'm, I like a chunkier Les Paul, so I'm going to have that one because it's a bit heavier. Or there might be certain flames that you like better. But you know, quilts. there's a yeah, you're right. You know, there's a tiny saying <laughs> I, I like. This is all going to get a bit Karate Kid on me here, isn't it? About these, which is "hao uh, yong bu hao kan," which means they they work really like to you close your eyes. They work so effectively. They're super smooth, grip your yeah. hand, but they don't look great. And um, it I, reminds me. Well, I don't of, like the look. I think these look like. What do they look like? It it looks like from the film Barbarella, where you had <laughs> yeah, the really yeah, what was the does. woman, the super sexy woman in Barbarella, yeah. Jane Fonda, and she oh. she had she had these very futuristic kind of nipple protectors. Yeah, and um, that's sort of what they these just me look of. amiss to me. And I think if they'd gone with 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 something else, I think it would have just made it visually so, but, better. I mean, but then you could take them off and yeah. change them. But so what, you, you wouldn't you, want either. You, you go want onto it. a guitar spares website. I'm just being devil's advocate. No, I, I, do you know what? But the, I want to stay on that because how many people will troll a guitar brand, not just Gibson, anybody, because they don't like the knobs? And you just end up going... Change the knobs. It's like, that. Yeah. you just go onto but, a guitar what, parts what, website what and you just change the knobs. why they wouldn't have normal knobs and then put strap locks on it, you know? Uh, well, that would have been a do you know idea. what these these extra large? Um, They're not as good as strap locks. Stra no, but, but when I tried to get that Ernie Ball strap over that that uh, yeah. studio in the last video, that was not they were not coming off once well, they that, were on. That's that's a remark from a guy who, with all due respect, doesn't tour. I don't and tour. You're right. If, if you were swinging that around like Peter Honore on stage with Tom Jones. Give it one month for Tomo wiggling his hips. Maybe. That's going to come right off that old yeah. strap and your £3,000 Les Pauls on the floor. Then you'd have floor. a Tom Jones story that you could tell all your friends over and over and over That's again. That's true. Just and like Tom Pete would does. probably buy you another Les Paul <laughs> to say sorry. I think they should have come with strap locks and not with, with the fancy um, knobs. But... Yet again... Sorry, go on, you carry on your, your butt. But this is such a great playing mm. Les Paul. I'm in my God. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'd actually not forgotten that you have a because you know where's my you may even just see it over my shoulder you know you can see the little poker ring but if you've got sexy flame on a guitar you want there's an extra argument that says, you know don't 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 put the scratch plate on don't cover it with plastic here yeah, yeah. it doesn't look oh did you just say like don't put the scratch plate on yeah yeah i probably wouldn't put i wouldn't put the scratch plate on in fact you can't put a scratch plate on this unless you want to drill it yourself yeah it's very pretty someone will be a shame, wouldn't it, though? Well, I don't know. Let's just get some sounds. I think that's probably a good Go idea. Go on, then. Go on, then. All right, then. like that where you go that's a great guitar it just sounds like it's giving something back And then everything's just why you know why was I even bothering mentioning these tuning <sighs> tuning things, these knobs and the bits of faff that just detract from the point that it's just a fantastic playing guitar. It's just I mean they are burst brucker burst burst brucker burst brucker bro burst bucker pro pickups. They haven't got any of the coil tapping and stuff that you get on the on the regular Les Paul standard and stuff like that. So it's a real it's a real blend of of something that traditionalists, traditionalists will, will love. It's, it's kind of like a, for me, it's like all the bling, but with none of the tech. Mm. So it's like, rather than Gibson sort of going, I know what we'll do, we'll bling up the Les Paul standard with new features. It's almost like, no, 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 it's, it's all the old features, but, but just with bling. Which mm. is definitely going to appeal to, you know, a lot of players out there. Um, well, that's what Les Paul was all about. I mean, the, the old Gibsons, they were trying to get them mm. as just beautiful as they could and add this yeah. and add that to how to do other companies. and Get a lovely case with this. Do you? Um, in fact, I can't... I'm just looking on this little iPad here at the different colour, the different tops of the ones that we've got in stock. And I must admit, you must head on over to uh, that. I'll put a link in the description oh, below because there are you some. You photograph every individual one, don't you? Yeah, there are sexy beast guitars there, and then you pick. You know, if you want to order one, you obviously you pick the, the one that you like. So, and um, Cal Dimash, thirty-three hundred. Thirty-three hundred. So three, well, three two nine nine. So you get your bus fare home out of thirty-three hundred. Uh, 3299 depending on where you live uh, that's an English price obviously or a British price um, yeah well, if you can afford it well done I'm just trying to think what is it It's it, the, the, I guess the parallels between this and PRS are inevitable because it's about the same kind of money that like a 10 top yeah. custom 24 yeah, 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 yeah. would be so uh, if you love Gibsons and you're tempted by a PRS probably this is the oh, guitar I don't for you. know do you know what I'm, I'm not going to I don't think any guitar player's um, guitar appetite will be satisfied until they own both. I was really hoping yeah. you could work in destruction into that sentence, and I would have been really happy. It, it, it's just, it is a, it is a thing, isn't it? You know, you just want to own. You know, you don't need to own. Let's just get that out there. The big difference between the word need and want. You know, but you, you there's, just there's nothing... want a neck that will be forged in the fire of your will. 
don't understand what you mean. It's a quote from Enter the Dragon. Is it? Oh, come on, Ted. You want a neck that will be forged in the will of your dragon? It doesn't... What? <laughs> it's a... <laughs> in a dragon's willy? What? No, it's, 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 what did he say? It's okay. It doesn't matter. All I remember from that film oh, was... Oh, humour fly. He goes, from the... Do you, Mr. Hand Man? <laughs> or fluid like water. Or something like that. I think they were the, I think they were the only two quotes that I remember. <laughs> oh, so many incredible quotes about the dragon. Anyway, anyway, complete, let's, let's, uh, let's just have a little noodle out as this was a fairly short one. Well, I'll finish this off for you. You ready? Do it. that every time Lee Anderton plays a blues lick, somewhere in the world, a Gibson guitar is sold. There's definitely something sexual happens every time you get that. There's notes, aren't there? Not just on Les Pauls, but very regularly. A fairy gets Pauls. an erection. Yes, that's what it is. It's the fairy erection note. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been Chaplin. I've been the captain. See you later. Bye. Oh, shot, sir. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. Yeah.